second Lebanon Egypt, by all means. They are a little bit richer. They are more rich than Muslim. Yes. Average, average, average Christian will be more educated. More educated, more. is more rich. Right. They are a very cooperative minority. United. United, more very uni united, more united inside the church. Right. If there is a poor man, they will go and help him to have a shop or to have something to do and earn his living. This is sometimes is lost between Muslims. Although 30, 40 years ago, I can tell you, the, we had very close community, even in big cities like Cairo. Now, you don't ask about your direct neighbor, not Sabia, not the seventh neighbor, but direct neighbor. You don't say Eid Mubarak or something. You are closing your door and he's closing his door. This is happening now in, in Egypt. We dislike it. We don't like it. We are searching for the real Egypt now. What has happened? We are asking all the time when we come back. People have more money. But what is happening now? We are not cooperating anymore as we were in the past, 30, 40 years ago. But we are coming back, alhamdulillah. And when I said that you see the Christians seem to be controlling Egypt, I said this in Bombay, I met the ambassador, the Egyptian ambassador in Bombay, and I met... When him. was that? Because he was a Christian one. No, there's about four or five it, years, four or five years ago. If it was Hilal Nashid, he is a Not Christian. Anyone. And he is here in South Africa, by the way. I can't remember the name. <laughs> but now, the ambassador at some function, I was invited for dinner, and they were also there. Uh, the Egyptian ambassador and the manager of Saudi Airlines. They were both there in that function. So I'm asking these two. I said, you know, every A airway has got an in-flight magazine. Hmm. Saudi Arabia has got, they call Ahlan wa Sahlan. Uh, Pakistan has got uh, something in Urdu to say, Mubarak. You know. uh, Kenya has got Umsifiri. South Africa has got Springbok. Britain, UK has got Nightlife. So everyone has got their own in-flight magazine which you, you expect your customer to take it away and read something about you, your airways, your country and all that. I'm asking, what is the name of your in-flight magazine? Mm. Simple question. Mm. And the Egyptian ambassador couldn't tell me. And the manager of, of the airline, maybe he was trying to be too clever, He says, so what? No, no, I said, I want to know what is the name of your in-flight magazine. Surely you have a name. There is a magazine, there is two of them. Mm. No, what, what I said, there is, so what, what is the name? Mm. He said, well, uh, the ambassador or the, um, or the if, 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 if. he said, well, look, somebody asked you, what is the color of your curtain in your house? You might not be able to say, and that's a fact. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm living there. Mm. Now you ask, what is the color of your curtain? So I have to think very hard. What is the color? You know? If it's some pale shade. It's the oh, yes. So, I said, no, man. This is simpler than that. You know, you do you travel by Egypt? Eh? Yeah, sure. No, no, I'm asking there. Yeah. You said, yes. So, surely you must have seen the magazine. What is the name? I have seen the magazine several times, but right. I can't tell you with the name now. Right, right, right. <laughs> no, no, I can excuse you, yeah. you see. But now, you Saudi airline. You must tell me, why be cooperate, man. You know, the Saudi, the, the Egyptian ambassador. Cooperate, man. Tell me, he said, look, no, I can't, like you tell me, honestly. He said, look, I've traveled, but I've seen it. But I can't seem to recollect the name. I can excuse you. I can excuse you for that. But you're trying to now hide your ignorant to say, so what? What? You're not supposed to know all that. I said, look, wait a minute, man. 
I am asking you a simple question whether you know. I said, now I tell you what the name is. He was taken by the surprise and yes. he was unable to. So <laughs> I'm telling him the name is Horus. Horus, yes, exactly. So I'm asking who is Horus? Your grandfather. Who is Horus? <laughs> come, come, tell me now. Yeah. Horus is the god of your Mushrik ancestors. Yeah. I said, who gave you that name to put on your, or on, your, on, your, on your magazine? Who gave you that name? In the Arabic language, damn it all, you couldn't find another Arabic word. It's so rich. Arabic is so rich. Yeah, sure. And you can't find an Arabic word like but this guy says. But Horus, you tell me now. I said, you see, the Christian is stealing your brains. He stole your brains. It could have it. You see, that means the Christian's job, not yours. I'm sure it, it didn't occur to it you. It could have been. I, I, I tell you something. In London, we right. have a tourist bureau. Right, it? right. And they have uh, 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 arranged for a very nice touristic book about Egypt. Right. Do you know what is the first sentence in that touristic book? It says the first sentence, Egypt is the land of Copts. It is right. What are Copts? The original people. They are not the Egyptian, the Christians, but the Egyptians, right? right. The, the original people of Egypt. And the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he, he was putting a Coptia, right? That is, you know, some abaya, right? In uh, from Egypt, it right. was called the Coptia, right? 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 Made in and, Egypt. And Mary the Copt. Egyptian. And Mary the Copt. And who was Mary one the of his wife. Yes. He is Coptia. So, Maria, Maria Coptia. If you take it the easy way, so it is the land of Copts, ancient right. Egyptians. Right. But it, but he he put it right uh, intentionally to 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 introduce right Egypt. the, the Coptic he Christians. Meant, yes. He meant that it is the land of Christians. Right. And they are carrying this meaning in their minds. Right. If you discuss it with them, right. They are telling us, right. especially in London and right. abroad. Right. I was the consul, the first consul there in 75 up to 79. Right. And one of these people, who were friends, <laughs> anyhow, <laughs> was telling me uh, that you are foreigners, you are Bedouins coming from Arabia, conquered our land, but we are the owners, the real owners of the land. I said, take it easy, come on, my dear brother and friend, let us discuss it. If you are Egyptian and I am not, how come? How? It's very interesting. Right? So it is there in their mind. I'll, if you are praying here, I will pray no, Zohar. Really. I am not going to take, uh, I am very happy to meet you <laughs> today. <laughs> Allah <laughs> Akbar, Allah <laughs> Akbar. <laughs> and if you let me, I will bring the, the printed uh, Quran in Egypt to you. I am leaving by, inshallah, by Friday or before. This is for, for, for my son. But uh, introduce the index. I have it. Yeah. I, this I was distributing in London. Right. I have taken it from Mr. Salim Azam in London. Right. And distributing it to several uh, Muslims and Christians Mashallah. in London. Mashallah. I have many, many tens of it. So I have one in my library in Egypt. Inshallah. Thank you very much. And you will allow me to bring the uh, praying Most welcome. Most welcome. Yeah. But tell me where I find you. Where I can find you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This place. In Friday, because yeah. I will be rushing to the yeah. My brain will be at 2 o'clock, inshallah. If I can catch the rails and go immediately to the But if not, it's accepted in the sight of Allah. I leave it. No, I leave it. In of Allah, it's accepted. Alhamdulillah. Even if you find it, come.